Here we are in early June, Billings, Montana, and I thought I'd just give you a little garden tour. Everything is nice and green. This is probably the best time to come to Montana because the fires haven't started and everything is just blooming and trying to grow as much as possible in its short growing season. The lawn is looking really good. And Stella leaves some of the lawn long and then she plants bulbs and those have mainly sprouted and bloomed already. This is the kitchen garden. We've got seven heirloom tomatoes which have really started growing. This is the black crim which is one of the varieties that really does well here. We can get hundreds of tomatoes off of that. Yesterday I planted some seed tapes here that have carrots. There's probably 50 of them planted in there. And they come embedded in a paper strip that you can just easily plant without having to thin them later. This is a big rainbow, the kind of yellowish red heirlooms that you see. This is a brandy wine. We let them get to the top of these supports and then we start trimming them and they really fill out below. This is a, oh, the green zebra, which is really a tasty one. It, it looks like it's not ripe, but it has a really pleasant green color to it. Oh, that one's, I try to train these to go under the support and that one snuck out of there. But we have it all on this drip system. This one is a Cherokee purple. Uh, this is another big rainbow. And then this one okay. Super Sweet 100 Cherry Tomato that is really tasty and comes out pretty quickly. We should have fruit within a month and then we go until October usually until the first freeze comes. We'll come downstairs. We're in the backyard yeah, by the kitchen. See some of the irises that are left. And then the fruit trees. This is a sour cherry. This is a pear. No, the pears over here. This is, these are apples. They're really coming out nicely. And that's just looking up into the yard to the upper section. I'll take you to the lower section. This is another sour cherry. And these are our hops on our newly constructed hops fence. Well, we did it a year ago. These are the raspberries that we've planted and keep them controlled by putting them in a metal container. They're actually growing through the bottom of the container. As you can see here, there must be some, oh, we had put drain holes and they must have gotten in the drain holes. We had one, one death. This was our uh, grape vine and it was doing really good and it just didn't make it through the winter. Huh. And then we have our standing beds, and these are pickles, or cucumbers that I planted yesterday, and these obviously are not cutting it. I don't know what it is. We put another set in there and they didn't make it. This one looks like it is going to make it. Japanese cucumber lemon cucumber, but this one heirloom did not like the transition. I just watered it and hopefully it'll come back. 
That's some other kind of... I'm not sure what that is. Hollyhock. And then these are just some plantings. This is some beautiful... I forget what it is. There's some pea blossoms. There's some potatoes in here. These are potatoes. And then some sunflowers that uh, returned or volunteered. This is some of our art. This is our strawberries, and they're they're blooming out. So they should be coming out pretty soon. They're really, look at these have been here now for four years, and they come back every year. This. And I'm forgetting the name of this again. Um, rhubarb. And it's just, you can't kill it. It just keeps coming back. This is some melons. Or um, squash, rather. Delicata squash, squash. Black beauty squash. I think they're both the same. And then garlic. This is our asparagus, which it came back. We got a few, but it started bolting. And it's gone kind of crazy. And then two different kinds of hops. This is, there's two plants in here. That's why there's so much thicker, but it's just, they're going crazy, searching for somewhere higher to go. And we've tried to harvest them, but couldn't get it together to make any beer or anything with it. I'll run up the back stairs here to the upper level. It's just lawn, basically. And I forget what these are called, but they're... Really unusual. They're kind of floppy, but they got beautiful blooms on them. And this is our sitting area around our portable fireplace. And then another bunch of plantings. These are peppers. And this is our attempt at lettuce, which it looks like it's really coming in good. And then this is Stella's garden of all her herbs. And they're just getting started here. It's basil and thyme and just a bit some lavender and then this is our back porch in our pizza oven and looking back over to my outdoor shower which I've been using faithfully every day since about May 1st so I think I'm going to walk back down and conclude the tour at this point. I'll revisit it later on once the fruit starts coming out. It's a pretty short growing season, but because of our position, if you look up here, you can see the sandstone cliffs and those reflect and retain heat. That gets us going much earlier than most people. And this uh, garden Take, gets a lot of direct sunlight. So we actually get early fruit and pretty much every day is going to get full on sunshine. I've been through weeding this. The weeds grow just overnight. I had to pick out a whole bunch of new ones. But anyway, I think that will cover it for now.